Our first conspiracy takes us back to the historic year of 1969. This was the year when the United States, under the banner of NASA, famously proclaimed to have accomplished the unthinkable, the unimaginable, the extraordinary. They claimed to have successfully landed astronauts on the moon. This feat, if true, was a Herculean task that was beyond the scope of any other nation at that time. It was an achievement that would have filled the citizens of the United States with an unparalleled sense of pride and joy, a moment that would symbolize their nation as the world leader in space exploration. However, as with any significant event, there simmered a layer of skepticism and doubt lurking in the shadows of this monumental claim. Some skeptics did not buy into the narrative spun by NASA and the United States government. They harbored the belief that landing, in its entirety, was nothing more than an elaborate hoax, a carefully crafted piece of fiction, a spectacle designed to deceive the world. These skeptics, or conspiracy theorists as they are often known, have put forth a range of arguments over the years to back up their claims. They point towards anomalies in the photographs released by NASA. They argue that the lighting and shadows in these pictures do not align with the physics of space and the celestial bodies. For instance, they argue that in some photos, the shadows cast by the astronauts and the lunar module do not line up in a consistent manner, suggesting artificial lighting. The skeptics also question the iconic flag-waving scene. According to them, the flag appears to ripple and wave as though it were in an environment with wind, which should be impossible on the moon since it lacks an atmosphere. They suggest that this is indication of the hoax, theorizing that the scene was shot on a set, possibly right here on Earth. Furthermore, they point out inconsistencies in the astronauts' accounts of their lunar journey and raise doubts about the authenticity of the lunar rock samples brought back by the Apollo crew. They even bring into question the technology available at the time, arguing that it was inadequate for such a mission, thereby implying that the moon landing was a technical impossibility in 1969. The moon landing conspiracy theory has not only fueled debates but has also ignited the curiosity of researchers, scientists and the general populace for several decades. The question remains, was the moon landing a genuine accomplishment that showcased the height of human achievement and the power of scientific endeavor? Or was it a meticulously designed deception, a figment of imagination that was sold to the world as reality? Was it an emblem of triumph or was it a symbol of manipulation? Each, each discrepancy, each anomaly puts a question mark on the authenticity of the moon landing. Yet the answers to these questions remain as elusive as the dark side of the moon. As we delve deeper into this controversy, one cannot help but ponder the larger implications of such a conspiracy. If true, it would not only question the credibility of NASA, but would also cast a shadow on the integrity of the United States government. In the end, we are left with two contrasting narratives one of unquestionable accomplishment and the other of possible deceit. Is the moon landing a monumental achievement or was it the greatest hoax in history? Next up, we venture into the mysterious depths of Area 51. This section of the Nevada desert has intrigued and fascinated the public for decades. The allure of Area 51, located approximately 83 miles north-northwest of Las Vegas, has seized the imaginations and set ablaze the conspiracy theories of countless individuals worldwide. Its cloak of secrecy has only served to amplify this curiosity. Area 51 is intrinsically linked with unidentified objects, UFOs, and extraterrestrial life. Any mention of it invariably conjures up images of enigmatic alien spacecraft, peculiar creatures from distant galaxies, and the shadowy, almost nebulous world of the unexplained. The secrecy enshrouding Area 51 fosters speculation, rumor, and myth, making it a fertile breeding ground for a multitude of conspiracy theories. Among these theories, the most prevalent is that the US government is concealing advanced alien technology within its fortified premises. This assertion has its roots in narratives of recovered spacecraft and unusual sightings reported of Area 51. It's suggested that artifacts, supposedly of extraterrestrial origin, are being reverse-engineered to enhance our own technology. In the minds of some, Area 51 has transformed into a repository of alien devices, a concealed trove of interstellar wonders. Deepening this theory, some conjecture that the government is not merely content with possessing alien technology. They propose that the government is also participating in clandestine partnerships with extraterrestrial beings. 
The specifics of these alleged collaborations fluctuate among theories, but they typically include technology exchanges, undisclosed plans, and covert agreements. The thought of humans and aliens cooperating behind the heavily guarded boundaries of Area 51 stirs a thrilling mixture of intrigue, exhilaration, and wariness. The enigma of Area 51 is further intensified by the US government's reticent stance on the topic. Despite the public's demand for transparency and answers, the government has provided sparse insight into the activities occurring within Area 51, further igniting the curiosity. The intermittent disclosure of declassified information, proofs of experimental aircraft testing disavowal of any extraterrestrial involvement, only keeps the riddle alive. What secrets are concealed in the vast landscape of Area 51? Could it be a testing ground for advanced military technology, as some skeptics propose? Or could it indeed be a hub of alien activity, as many believers insist? Or perhaps it's a blend of both, or something else entirely? A puzzle wrapped within a conundrum, nestled in the heart of the Nevada desert. As we dive deeper into the mystery of Area 51, it's to remember that while these theories and conjectures might seem outlandish, they mirror our profound fascination with the unknown. Whether fact or fiction, they represent our collective longing to comprehend the cosmos and our role within it. And as we persist in exploring and pushing the limits of our knowledge, we unlock the door to thrilling possibilities. Could we be on the cusp of a revelation that will forever alter our understanding of the cosmos? As we gaze into the depths of Area 51, we can't help but speculate about the future. Will we finally uncover the truth behind Area 51, shattering our preconceptions and transforming our perception of reality? Only time will reveal the answer. Please remember to like, share and subscribe for more intriguing content. Our third conspiracy delves into the age-old notion of the Illuminati, a secretive and powerful group believed by some to control world events from behind the scenes. This group has been the subject of countless debates, discussions and analyses throughout history. The Illuminati, as we have come to know them, are shrouded in mystery and intrigue, persistently capturing our collective curiosity. Indeed, the concept of the Illuminati has its roots deeply embedded in the annals of human history. Its origins can be traced back to the Enlightenment era of the 18th century, a time of great intellectual growth and societal change. The Bavarian Illuminati, as they were known, were thought to be a group of free thinkers, intellectuals who sought to influence the world in a clandestine manner, operating from the shadows to guide the course of human events and steer society's direction. Over time, their legend grew. The ideas and beliefs attributed to this group took on a life of their own. From influencing governments to manipulating economies, conspiracy theorists claim that the Illuminati's reach is far-reaching and its influence pervasive. These theorists argue that the Illuminati continues to guide destiny of nations, shaping the world as per their design. To some, the Illuminati is a group of enlightened individuals who guide society towards progress and enlightenment. To others, they are the puppet masters, pulling strings from behind the scenes to orchestrate world events according to their desires. The theories surrounding their existence range from plausible to fantastical, stimulating a wide spectrum of beliefs. The notion of the Illuminati has permeated popular culture as well, featuring in books, movies, music and more. They are portrayed as shadowy figures operating in secret societies, often associated with symbols of power and control. From the Eye of Providence to the Pyramid, these symbols are thought to symbolize the Illuminati's omnipresence and omnipotence. Further fueling these theories are allegations of the Illuminati's connections to prominent figures and institutions. From world leaders to celebrities, from financial institutions to multinational corporations, from Vatican to Hollywood, the tendrils of the Illuminati are often imagined to reach far and wide with the ability to the world as we know it. However, the question remains, how much of this is truth and how much is conjecture? Skeptics argue that the Illuminati is nothing more than a legend, a figment of our collective imaginations fueled by our innate fascination with the unexplained and the unknown. They point to the lack of concrete evidence supporting the existence of the Illuminati as proof of its non-existence. On the other hand, believers remain steadfast in their conviction that the Illuminati is real, that it exerts control over world events in ways we cannot comprehend. They point to the unexplained phenomena, the seeming coincidences, and the cryptic symbols as proof of the Illuminati's existence. 
The debate over the reality of the Illuminati rages on, fueled by our innate curiosity and desire to unravel the mysteries of the world. Is this shadowy organization really pulling the strings, or is it just an elaborate myth that has captured our collective imagination? Moving on, let's explore the controversial theory of chemtrails, the visible streaks left by aircraft in the sky. For those unfamiliar with the term, chemtrails is derived from the words chemical trails and refers to the trails of condensed water or contrails that follow the path of an airplane in flight. These streams of white, which cut across the clear blue expanse, are a common sight and have been since the advent of aviation. But what has caused the controversy, the debate, the speculation, is not their existence, but rather, their composition. The chemtrail theory, unlike other popular conspiracy theories, does not point to aliens or secret societies, but instead to our very own governments. A fringe theory, it suggests that these trails are not simply composed of water vapor, as the scientific community would have us believe. Instead, the theory posits that the governments, or at times corporations, are using commercial and military aircraft to release chemicals into the atmosphere. The claimed purposes of these chemicals range from the plausible to the downright bizarre. Some argue that these chemtrails are part of a covert operation to modify weather patterns, a concept that isn't entirely alien to us. Weather modification, though not on the scale suggested by the theorists, is a scientific reality. From cloud seeding to manipulate rainfall, to hurricane suppression, attempts to control or alter weather have been made in the past. The chemtrail theory, however, suggests a much darker, clandestine operation on a global scale. Others claim the trails are part of a more insidious project, a mass mind control endeavor. They propose that the chemicals being released affect human cognition, behavior and emotions, effectively allowing the powers that be to control the masses. This idea, though it may sound like the plot of a dystopian novel, has found a significant number of believers around the world. Then there are also theories which suggest that the chemicals are being used to control or limit the population by causing illnesses or manipulating fertility rates. These ideas, though disturbing, are held by a substantial number of chemtrail theorists. It is crucial to note, though, that despite the number of believers, the chemtrail theory is widely discredited by the scientific community. Multiple scientific investigations have found no to support the claims of chemical or biological agents in contrails. These trails, according to science, are the natural result of hot engine exhaust cooling quickly in the extremely cold temperatures of the upper atmosphere, leading to the condensation of water vapor. Despite the lack of scientific backing, the pervasiveness of the chemtrail theory is a testament to the power of the internet in propagating conspiracy theories. It speaks volumes about our collective distrust of governments and large corporations. It underlines the human propensity to question, to doubt, to fear the unknown. So we come back to our initial question, are these streaks innocent contrails or is there a sinister agenda hidden in the skies above? Our final conspiracy theory takes us to the concept of the New World Order a global government that seeks dominance over every aspect of our lives. This concept, shrouded in mystery and speculation, has stimulated the imagination of theorists and the public alike. The New World Order is seen as a formidable, all-encompassing entity, a conglomerate of powerful individuals and organizations, with ultimate control being their overarching goal. The New World Order theory roots itself in the idea of a global regime that supposedly aims at regulating our lives to the minutest detail. From the food we eat, the air we breathe, to the thoughts we nurture, this ominous entity is believed to hold the strings of control. Allegedly driven by a select group of influential elites, the New World Order is thought to be the mastermind behind many happenings in our world today. Theorists suggest that secret societies like the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and the so-called Bilderberg Group are significant players in this grand scheme. These clandestine organizations, they argue, represent powerful interests from diverse fields such as politics, finance, industry, media, and even the arts. Their members supposedly are the who's who of the world, influential elite who hold sway over the masses. Theorists argue that these secret societies collaborate on an international level, working diligently behind the scenes to push their agenda. This agenda, they assert, includes the establishment of a unified global government, breaking down national borders, and creating a new global identity, all under the guise of fostering world peace and unity. 
But the real motive, they claim, is to exert absolute power and control over humanity. This conspiracy theory has seen an increase in popularity in recent years, largely fueled by the rise of the internet and social media. These platforms have provided a breeding ground for such theories, enabling them to spread rapidly and gain a substantial following. The New World Order theory has permeated popular culture as well, with references found in movies, television shows and books, further fueling the flames of this widespread belief. The idea of a one-world government, as envisioned by the proponents of this theory, is often associated with a dystopian future. They draw parallels with famous dystopian novels like George Orwell's 1984 or Aldous Huxley's Brave New World, where the populace is under constant surveillance and individual freedoms are severely curtailed. So, is the New World Order just a product of imaginative speculation? Or is there some truth hidden beneath the conspiracy theories? Decoding the answers to these questions would require us to delve deeper, to critically analyze the evidence and arguments presented, and to separate the wheat from the chaff. Are we on the brink of a dystopian future? This question continues to haunt us, sending shivers down our spines as we wonder with bated breath what future holds for us.